Hello everyone, welcome to this video and here I will explain the concepts in literature reviews and slowly the focus will be on bibliometric analysis in the upcoming videos of this series. And if you're planning to write a literature review paper, sooner or later it will help you to have a clear overview of all the concepts in literature review and the different types of literature reviews. So first of all, I made a Google search, a simple Google search in Google Scholar with bibliometric analysis and I see the top cited paper is 769 times cited and it was published in 2005. Then I search with literature reviews. I get at least 5 papers with over 3000 citations. So I search again with systematic literature reviews and I get at least 5 papers with over 1000 citations. Then I search with citation analysis and I get about 5 papers with over 1000 citations again. And then content analysis at least 10 papers with over 5000 citations. So now the thing is all these keywords are to some extent represent a type of literature review and an approach of literature review. So now the question is like which approach is the most appropriate one for literature review studies. So let's get to the definition of the relevant concepts. First of all, what is a literature review? It is the information analysis and synthesis focusing on findings and not simply bibliographic citations and it summarizes the substance of the literature and drawing conclusions from it. Then traditional literature review. It usually it adopts a critical approach which might assess theories or hypotheses by critically examining the method and the results of single primary studies with an emphasis on background and contextual material. So normally it will focus on only one study or one theory on one hypothesis, okay? It will not really analyze a lot of studies. Could be like maybe one theory and many studies are using that theory. So it could be analyzing those studies. Mostly you'll see that it is a analysis of a one single paper, maybe the theory paper which was written by the founder of the theory itself, something like that. And then we have systematic literature review, a review with a clear stated purpose. You will have research questions in mind before you start your working and you will have a defined search approach. The way you will search for the papers that will be analyzing, that will be very clear and you will be stating inclusion and exclusion criteria for your articles and you will produce a qualitative appraisal of articles in the end. Then we come to bibliometric analysis and bibliometric analysis is a method that includes statistical analysis of published articles and citations therein to measure their impact. And there are different types of bibliometric analysis, we will come to that later. But like another detailed definition could be bibliometric analysis unveils pivotal articles and objectively illustrates the linkages between and among articles about a certain research topic or field by analyzing how many times they have been co-cited by other published articles. This is like when you based on it on co-citation, but there are other types like co-author analysis, co-occurrence analysis. So we'll get back to we'll get to them later. And we have meta-analysis. Meta-analysis is a statistical analysis that combines the results of multiple scientific studies. So then in meta-analysis you look at only the findings on the on the regression coefficients. Okay? So in bibliometric you focus on citation, on meta-analysis you focus on regression coefficients. And then we have content analysis, and which is a method for analyzing textual data. It's like fix, flexible method. It's yeah, you can you can approach many ways. You can use in vivo or you can use Excel, you can do it in many other ways. Content analysis describes a family of analytical approaches ranging from impressionistic, intuitive, interpretive analysis to systematic, strict textual analysis. You will find the full references below this video. Click see more to see the full references. Thank you for watching. If you find it useful, please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.